Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we learned how to update documents in MongoDB using ExpressJS. Today, we are going to learn how to delete documents from MongoDB using ExpressJS. In real time cases, you don't really delete documents. I mean, we always do soft deletes, like for example, updating a flag and setting it to deleted. However, there are use cases like for example in Google or in Facebook or Instagram, a user goes and explicitly says that, please delete my account and all the related data. That's when you would actually go and execute a delete command, right? We'll learn all about it in today's episode. This is part 24 of the ExpressJS full tutorial series. Uh, in the previously, we have covered all these topics in the series. So please make sure that you go through all the topics. Uh, I've covered all of them in detail with examples. It would help you learn and master ExpressJS. Today, we will learn how to delete documents in MongoDB using ExpressJS. All right, so before we get started, uh, I'll request you kindly check out the MongoDB playlist that I've created that would give you a complete idea about MongoDB. It covers uh, topics from basic to advanced, uh, the querying, the concepts, and much more. It would help you prepare and learn and master MongoDB. All right, so a quick update for our viewers who are joining us new. MongoDB CRUD uh, stands for four operations, right? Create, read, update, and delete. Create means creating new documents, read, reading documents with a certain criteria maybe or filtering updating means updating documents based on a condition and delete means deleting documents from a con uh, collection right all of these can come with certain parameters which is what we call it as parameters or filters right we covered create read and update in the previous episode so make sure you check that out also today we will learn how to delete documents so to delete documents we have multiple methods uh, that we can make use of some of them are remove find by id and remove delete one find by id and delete find one and remove right so i will show you a few of these methods that you can use uh, for deleting right uh, so let's get started so these are the methods updated ones uh, pre the previous ones were the updates so sorry about that so We'll learn all of these now. Let's get started and do practical. Um, so I have the students.js controller, right? Or the routes that we created in the previous episode. So make sure you check it out as well. Um, it's important that you continue your learning in continuation, right? So that you follow each step that we are doing. So I'm just going to copy this as it is and create a new delete method. Here I'm going to give delete instead of put because we are going to delete now. Next, we are going to update our route, right? So we are going to give a route and say we are going to say delete user, right? Next, we are saying that we will pass the parameter of which user ID to be deleted. That is what we are capturing as part of our query, right? That will be the user ID. And then here, there are different methods that we can use of. Now, let me show you some methods that we are going to use. We can say dot remove. We can do that or let me show you the simple one first find by id and delete right so here we need to pass id of the document that we are going to delete right so once you send that particular id it would delete it right so that being said um, let's get started and explore this first if you recall we created different things like search by id search by first name slash list so let's go to our postman and what I'm going to do is use list. It will not work because we haven't started it. So I'm going to say npm run start. Right. So our APIs are now up and running so we can run the endpoints. So go to postman and hit send for list. It would list you all the documents. Uh, it says not found. Let's see why. Here you go and go to get method and say student slash get. 
and here it is student slash get uh, we don't need any params we don't need body uh, okay so it's because it's post put here so we are not sending anything just reading the data so it's just a get call that said we got the document ID right so copy this and then go and change and make it delete user that's one of the endpoint that we just defined here if you check here we just created a new endpoint and we are saying that we will pass the query user ID so let's send that also as part of params so user ID and we are going to pass the ID of the user document that we want to delete right so when we run this particular query now it is a delete method right it's a delete method we are passing the document ID and we are passing the delete user right so now let's get started and run this we should see a response 200 ok that means it was deleted how do you verify go and run list again you should not see that in the get so now you see we don't see that document that means it was deleted successfully that's one of the way right that's one of the method that we can use the other method could be you can pass parameters right like how do you pass it so we can say dot remove right and here you will pass the query like if you want to pass um, certain criteria like first name matches some variable that you want to select so you can use dot remove you can say find by ID and delete you can say find by ID and remove find by ID and delete right so these are the different methods which are available for us to use delete for deleting the documents right so give it a try uh, let me know how it goes uh, if you need any help just refer to the screen find one and remove you pass the criteria that you want to remove find student dot remove pass the criteria that is age find by ID and delete pass the document ID right so these are the three main um, I would say the methods that is generally used in most uh, cases where you want to delete documents right so give it a try that brings us to the end of MongoDB CRUD operations but we will also continue learning with MySQL right in the next episode I will teach you all the CRUD with MySQL once we do that we will also consider doing uh, middleware which is trimming data course issues uh, sanitizing the input data and much much more stay tuned for that I hope you are enjoying the series I hope you are learning I hope um, your doubts are getting cleared if not please drop them in the comment section I'll be happy to help you thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode